All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKudash, Lawam Yom. Double honor to the elder apostle Great Millstone, who teach him well in his last days, and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the occupants of the four corners of the earth, putting his word in truth and sincerity, making the call and election sure. And I'm going to give a humble salutation to the hopeful elect, tuning in on the four corners of the earth, wherever, you, wherever your habitation may be at. This is Brother Mashal, coming back at you with a quick lesson. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, I want to say the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for uh, giving me the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, I was I'm gonna title this lesson um, uh, coming back as a newborn babe. You know, I was listening to uh, Apostle Ramlob's uh, le uh, lesson. I missed his live stream, so I was uh, watched it. For uh, started watching it and he, uh, he yeah, mentioned some stuff and I wanted to go ahead and do a quick lesson on it while I, while, while I was in my spirit to do so. Um, so, you know, we're going to get into the lesson real quick, you know, we because it's important, it's imperative and important that we come back as newborn babes, man. We can't bring, uh, you know, things of this world um, into the truth, you know, because what 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 happens with a newborn babe, they're, they're fresh. They're new, you know, and um, at, from that point, as a newborn, they're being taught, you know, as uh, all, all throughout their upbringing, you know, and this is why Esau, um, you know, uh, has us, you know, um, going through, you know, kindergarten through uh, 12th grade to be indoctrinated because, you know, all that is, is all that time is the, the brain is, is uh, learning you know, uh, how to do things, what the, uh, you know, and being, being shaped and molded, you know, so us as, uh, uh, babes in the truth have to go through the same thing, you know, so, uh, real quick before we start the lesson, let's, um, let's get the definition of re repent. Um, let's see, which one do I want? In yeah, first Kings, that's cool. First Kings 8 and 47 says, Yeah, if they bethink themselves in the land where they were carried, cap carried captives. So we're, we are carried captives in this in this uh, land right here because of Baruch, right? Uh, Baruch 3 and 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, what thou, what thou hast scattered us, for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. You see, so we're, we are yet this day in our captivity. You know, and even, even though the, the, you know, and even though the scripture was written, you know, uh, thousands of years ago, you know, hey, it's, it still applies today. That's, that, and that's the beauty of the scripture, because we are yet this day in our captivity. These things that were written, but were, were written for time, uh, were written for uh, the last days, you know. So behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us. See, so it says, um, yet uh, First Kings eight forty seven. Yet if they bethink themselves in the land where they were carried captives, meaning Babylon the Great, and repent, right, and repent, and make supplication unto thee. In the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned, we have done wickedness perversely, we have committed wickedness. Uh, I'll keep going on that. Uh, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. See, we're in the land of our enemies right now, man. We have enemies uh, pursuant to Psalms 83, you know, and, and multiple other scriptures. Uh, which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land. And where is our land? It's not America, man. Our land is is uh, is Yerushalayim, man. Jerusalem, praying towards the east. It says, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, the house which I have built for thy name. Then I then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. You see, so basically, I want to, uh, you know, get this uh, real quick. This word repent.
Strong's H, 7725. Shuv. Shuv. All right. Um, some of the other words that's used for uh, the, the word is return, again, turn, back, away, restore, bring, render, answer, recompense, recover, deliver, uh, withdraw, requite. All right. So basically, it's um, to return, to turn back, right? Uh, to return to, unto, go back, uh, go back, come back, um, turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. You know, to turn back to the Heavenly Father, repent, to turn back from evil, you see? And how do we, and how do we turn back from evil is by coming back as a newborn babe, because all that we've, that we've, uh, that's, that's, that we've, that's happened coming up is we, that we've learned evil, man. We look, we, we've learned the ways of Esau, man. We learn the, the ways of these nations by celebrating holidays and eating certain foods, you know what I'm saying? They're calling each other, uh, black and, and, um, Hispanics and stuff like that. All those are all, all that's evil, man. So we're turning back from that. We're coming back as new, as newborn babes willing to learn again. Uh, let's see. Um, Okay. To bring back, to refresh, to restore. So, we, we, in order for you to uh, to be uh, reborn as a newborn babe, you're gonna restore yourself, man. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's the point. So yeah. So you know, this this is the uh, w uh the way that we're gonna be returning as a newborn babe is by repenting. You know, coming back, uh, will, willing to learn, you know what I'm saying? Dropping everything that we thought was right and coming back and learning the actual truth. Let's go to, uh, first Peter, uh, chapter two. It says, uh, wherefore let the, cause this is the, this is the scripture that the, uh, the elder was talk, uh, the elder apostle was talking about, you know, made me, uh, that inspired this lesson. Um, it says, wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes, desire the sincere, milk, the, the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. So if you can taste this, and once you've tasted it, you, you understand that you have to be reborn as a newborn babe, you know, getting the milk. The basics of the word, you know what I'm saying? So that way you can grow, you know, and this is, this is the reason why Christianity doesn't, uh, doesn't have it because they, they, they neglect the, the milk of the scriptures. And that's why they can't understand, you know, the Gentiles and the new Testament. They can't understand, uh, 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 you know, a lot of, uh, Paul's epistles, you know, about, um, about the law, you know, because they don't have that. They don't have the milk. They don't have come back as a newborn babe. You know, they've been built up in, they've been built up in this world, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, understanding all evil speakings, and they think that they can, <laughs> they can use these evil speakings in these evil ways, and then understand spiritual things, man. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even know, understand how it was even brought about to the, to the so-called New Testament. You know, because they don't even read the Old Testament. They don't even have an, uh, an understanding of the Old Testament. You see, so as newborn babes, we're supposed to lay all, all uh, aside all malice, man. You know what I'm saying? And all guile. You know, uh, malice is, uh, you know, um, you know, doing evil. You know what? Let's let's uh, let's get it real quick. Strong's G twenty five forty nine, Kakia, Kakia. All right, so uh, malice, uh, malig malig malignity, malice, ill will, the desire to injure, wickedness, uh, depravity, wickedness that is not ashamed to break laws, evil, trouble. You see, so we're, we're laying aside all evil, man, all wickedness that is not ashamed to break laws. What are these laws? The the uh, the laws that the commandments that the so-called Christian church is 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 saying is done away with. You know, but it's wickedness, you know, that uh, if, you, if you have, um, 
Um, Tilapia. So if you have this malice, because I forgot what word it was, so you 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 um you still we're supposed to be laying aside all, all of that, man. And guile means lying, being deceitful, you know, and hypocrisies. Because in, in the uh in the apocrypha, um in in Sirach chapter one, it says that you shouldn't be a hypocrite in the sight of men. You know, and envying you you shouldn't envy anybody, man. You know, so these are the things that that we have to 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 throw off in order to be a newborn babe desiring the sincere the sincere milk of the word that you may grow man because this whole walk is growth this whole walk is 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 understanding of the, the wickedness that we came from and then making progress every day man to to uh to to throw that old that old man off so that way we can taste that that the lord is gracious man it's a gracious thing that we we, we have this this liberty to to uh be able to to, to throw all this stuff off man um, let's go to, uh, you know what, let's go to the first, the, the beginning chapter, um, first Peter one, let's start at verse 22, it says, seeing ye have purified your souls, purifying your soul, man, right, he's saying you have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently, being born again, see, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of the Heavenly Father, which liveth and abideth forever. You see? So we, we're being born again, man. We're, we're, we are newborn babes, man, fresh out the womb of the Spirit. Once, we're, once we've been baptized with this word, not with, 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 uh, in, some, in some water, in the tub that the pastor ain't washed in 16 years, you know what I'm saying? But every, every time Dick and Harry is, has been has been up there washing all that filth off, man. That's not how you get. That's not how you get baptized. That's not how you get born again. You get born again by the washing of water by the word, like it says in Ephesians 5. So being born again, not of corruptible seed, because that corruptible seed is 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 the spirit of Hashatan, man. You know the the evilness that we were doing. Uh, before we came into the truth, you see, but of of incorruptible. So now we're we're born of of the incorruptible seed by what? By the word of the heavenly Father. So this is how we need this. This is why it's impo important that be, to be uh, come back as a newborn babe to be born again by the 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 uh, by the, the the word of the heavenly Father, which is the incorruptible seed, because we're going to be raised incorruptible, like it says in First uh, Corinthians fourteen. That's like it. First, yeah, first, first Corinthians fourteen. It's like it, you know, which liveth and abideth forever. Um, it says, "For all flesh is is as grass, and the glory of man as the flower of the grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. So this flesh is gonna uh uh die off, right? Because the flesh is as grass, and the grass withereth." And the glory of the man as a flower of the grass, because the grass grows. I mean, the flower grows from the grass. So your glory is what what, what comes from that from that grass, which is the flesh. And it says that the flower uh, thereof falls away, because there, there's no thing, there's no such thing as, as the glory of a man in the, in the sight of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach, man. It don't matter if you if you're a millionaire, if you if you if you got a million Instagram followers, nothing like that. The glory of a man. Is gonna fade away, man. You see, it says verse twenty-five. But the word of the Lord endure forever, and this is the word which by the by the gospel is preached unto you, because now being born again, we're not worried about the our flesh, right, or the glory of what we of what we used to do. But it's but by the word that we're gonna live forever, man. This is what we're trying to this is this is what we're trying to do. This is, where, this is what we're out, out on the highways and byways every week to, to, to preach. This is what we do on these lessons to preach. That the, that the flesh is nothing and, and whatever you, the whatever achievements and whatever achievements and, and, and um, accolades that, that you've, that you've um, you know, gotten uh, in this world don't mean nothing, man. You know, because Paul said that he counted, he counted his life as done so that, way, so that he may uh, gain Christ.
you have a shot. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Wow, um, hold on one second, let me find it. Bear with me. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, it's like it. Philippians uh, chapter 3. And verse 8, it says, I'll come start at verse 7. It says, But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. Uh, so the things that we thought that we, that we were that we were gaining in the world, we thought we threw all of that stuff off, man. So that way, we can be, uh, we count, we count as that is lost for Yahweh Shai. It says, Yea, doubtless, I count all, I count, it's like a yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord. So we, for, so we, we threw all that stuff off, man. A lot of brothers was really good at, uh, things in the world, but we threw all that off, uh, for the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, man. Why? Because this is the true riches, man. This is what we need for uh for eternal salvation, man. Not not uh you know what I'm saying, trying to be the next uh hip hop artist or or what or or whatever, man. Or spoken word or the next um anything, man. You know? It says, For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, right? And I do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach, get how a shot. You see? So Paul kind of all of that stuff that he had done, man, that he may win Yahweh Shai. And that's that's coming back as a newborn babe. You know, that's understanding that the things in this world don't mean nothing when it comes to the understanding that we have these scriptures, man, that we can that that it'll lead us to the kingdom of heaven. You know? Um, let's go to uh Matthew 18. It says in verse one, it says at the same time, the disciples, came, uh, at the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh Shai saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahweh Shai called a little child unto him, to, unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, verily I say unto you, except ye can be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. See, so you have to be converted and become as little children. Be converted, what does that mean? Be, repent, man. Come back, be brought back too, and become as little children. Meaning, be be uh, willing to learn again. You know what? Let's um. I'm gonna see what this word "children" look. Uh, yes. Strong's G thirty-eight thirteen, Pideon, Pideon. All right, it says, it says a young child, a little boy, a little girl, infants, children, little ones, an infant of a male child just recently born. You see, so even, so, okay, so, uh, uh, then, okay, I'll go to uh, John 3 next. Because, you know, Yahweh Shai was, was, uh, was confounded Nicodemus, you know, about being, when he told him that, that you had to become uh, as, a new, as a newborn child. You know, so it says of a male child just recently born. So you, so you have to come back as a like as a as a recently born person in 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 the, in the spirit, man, in order for you to get this to get this knowledge. You know, because we all thought that we was right, you know, in the world, you know, what I'm saying doing wickedness, but you're not gonna be able to bring wickedness into the truth, and then you expect it, and, and then you expect to know what's going on. That's not gonna happen. All right. So uh, let's go to John three. How was I finished on this one? 
Uh, I think it's a little more on this. Uh, verse 4, it says, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself. So you got to be humble. And it takes it takes a lot of humility, man, to, to uh, you know, to, to, uh, to learn again, man. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of humility to be able to understand that you you ain't shit. And you need to be taught again so that way you can be something. Not of this world, but uh but of the of the kingdom to come. You know, because the scriptures say, um, real quick. Uh first Corinthians uh four and ten. It says, uh, we are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted, buffeted it, and have no certain dwelling place. And labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. You see, so this is the um the the the, uh, the ways and the humility that we have to go through, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a humble person to be out there, you know, being ridiculed and being uh you know brought down by our own people, man, and other nations. You know, being persecuted, we suffer it. Uh, verse thirteen, being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world. And are the offscoring of all things unto this day, man. So the men of the Most High and Yahweh Shai are going to be defamed, man. You know what I'm saying? We are made as the filth of the world. Being persecuted, we suffer it, you know, because we we caught, we, because we caught all of this as lost, but that way we can gain Yahweh Shai. Because why? We have, be, we have been reborn through the Spirit. We both hunger and thirst and are, and are naked and buffeted and have no certain dwelling place, man. Because this is not our resting place. We 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 uh we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Like it says in uh I think it's Hebrews thirteen. You know, and that's why it says we we both hunger and thirst and are naked. Why? Because we we don't we don't fit in in the society. You know. The people who, who fit in the society, man, are eating good, man. They're drinking good, man. They're clothed. You know what I'm saying? But we out here looking fool like like fools for Yahweh Shai's sake. You know, and we are we and we are being persecuted and we suffer it, man. You know, we take it on as joy. So going back to the lesson, um, it says, Whoso therefore shall humble himself as his little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. You see, so we're going to be, we have to come back and be converted as little children. Uh, you know what, let's look at, uh, real quick. Um, characteristics. Of a, let's say, child. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, cause I'm trying to stand in, in, the, in, the, in the lesson in the, in the spirit. But characteristics of a child: uh, curiosity. Kids' natural curiosity can seem like an annoyance to busy parents, but is an important trait, uh, important trait that should not be stifled. Why? The curiosity, man, because when you're curious, you're, you're, uh, you're willing to learn. You know, you're, you're, uh, you're seeking guidance if you, when you're curious, you want to know. So as as a, as a, as a uh, you know come back as little children, little children are curious when they ask questions. They're willing to learn. They're willing to be led. All right. Um, social skills, social interaction is a basic part for both children and adults. Resilience, integrity, resourcefulness, creativity, empathy, so yada yada yada. All right. Let's start the lesson. Um, oh yeah. Let's go to uh, John. Cause I, I, I uh, called John three. Uh, John 3 and 1, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. 
the same by night, uh, Saki, the same came to Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Heavenly Father, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the Most High be with him. Yahweh Shai answered him, it's like Yahweh Shai answered, said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, you see, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. Why? Because, because unless you're born again, you're not, I mean, because you're, you're not going to bring wickedness into righteousness. There's no way. You know, and that's what, and, and, and see, a lot of people are going to be deceived because they think, then they're portraying that every, I mean, everything is all good. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a righteous brother, I'm a righteous sister. But in, 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 but in the dark, man, they're doing wickedness. You see, so when you're born again, you drop all of that stuff, man. You know, to the best of your ability. You know, so it says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the heavenly father. Nicodemus said unto him, How how can a man be born when he is old? You see? How can a man be born when he is old? Why? Because it's not it's not about um a number, you know, an age. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be born again when you're when you're twelve, and you can be born again when you're when you're fifty two. You can be born again when you're ninety eight. And then you'll be a newborn babe, and it's true. You know, uh, it, it says, can he enter the second time until his mother's womb be born? It says, verse 5, Yahweh shall answer, verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the heavenly father. You see, so that you got to have, you have to be born with water and of the spirit. The water is this knowledge of the, of the truth and the spirit is the fire that comes with it, man. Because we, we are that, uh, a fire wrapped up in flesh, the energy. That's why the scriptures say that uh, that he that worship uh, that uh, that worship the heavenly Father uh, must worship him in spirit and in, and in truth. You see, uh, verse six it says that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel I, a uh, slacket, marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Um. Yeah, kind of, that's it. So, you know, you have to be born again in order to, uh, you know, enter into, enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. Come as, as a newborn babe. Uh, let's, real quick, um, Proverbs, um, what was that? Uh, Proverbs 4 and... Uh, 18, this says, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So this is what a newborn babe does, man. You know, a newborn babe comes in, comes in, and, uh, you know, and it starts learning and then you start perfecting yourself. You know, it's not, it's not going to be where you're going to, you're going to get into this truth and now all of a sudden you're a perfect person. No, it's going to, it's going to take time, man. We're not going to, we're not going to achieve perfection. Until Yahweh Shah comes back and brings that new covenant with him. You know, so now we understand that the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more. See, a progression. More and more unto the perfect day. That perfect day is, is the coming of Yahweh Shai. You see, so we're not going to achieve perfection in this body. It's, it's, it's impossible. But what do we do in the meantime, between time? Yo, we shine more and more, man. We progressively get better, and that's what that's what newborn babes do. Do you know they learn uh, at a young age, and when they grow up, you know uh, they'll be uh, they'll be they'll, they'll they'll have that understanding. You know, it says, uh, but the way of the wicked is as darkness. See, so the the wickedness of a person is is as darkness. They don't have that light. They don't have that light to guide them, you know. It says they know not at what they stumble. Because when you're in darkness, you're like a, a blind man groping uh, in the darkness, you know. So we, 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 so we leave the way, the way of, of wickedness as darkness in, the, in, in our past life, which is when we came in, what, who we were before we came into the truth. And now... We've been born, we, we've been reborn as a newborn babe, coming back as a newborn babe, as a shining light 
and that shineth more and more unto the per perfect day. Meaning that we're trying, we're working hard towards being a, a righteous man, a righteous woman of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. That's that's the 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 uh, the integrity that that Yahweh Bashim is looking for, man. You know, because all of this is a process. Uh, let's go to um, Galatians uh, six. Uh, in verse uh, 15, it says, For in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, neither circumcision, right, knowing the law, availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, not, not knowing the law, being a Gentile, right, but a what? A new creature. You see, so we're, we have to be born again, being a new creature, man. Because once you're a new creature, circumcision or uncircumcision doesn't even matter why because now you understand what this what the doctrine is now you understand that you, you know we we're uh we 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 owe yahweh bashi man uh let's go to uh real quick um colossians uh three um colossians three it says uh Lie not one to another, saying that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, right? Being born again. Coming back as a newborn babe, right? Put it on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge. See? Now when you're when you're uh when you're coming back as a newborn babe, you're renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. And who was our creator? Yahweh Bashim Shai. Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, gave Yahweh Shai the keys to create everything. Now we're now we're renewed in knowledge, man, after the image that created him, being reborn in the spirit, man. Re being reborn with his doctrine, coming back as a newborn babe and wanting to learn, seeking understanding. Um, let's go to uh Ephesians 2. And let's start at verse 1. It says, And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin, wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world. See? So we're, before before we came into this truth, man, we were walking uh, according to the, uh, like in, in the path of the world, man, in the path of wickedness. Right? According to the prince of the power of the air and the spirit uh, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, man. And the, the prince of power of the air is Hashatan, man. You know, because that's because Hashatan is, 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 is the spirit that's now working in the children of disobedience. Because disobedience is, is evilness, man. Disobedience is going against the scriptures. And and uh, Hashatan has, get, has, has been given the power by the Most High Yahweh to do those things. See? Uh, verse 3. It says, among, uh, among whom also we we all had our conversation in times past. In see, in times past. See, it's always about the past, man. You know, and this see, and these things are written so that we can have a, a better understanding of of who we were and 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 what we need to be what what we need to do to become a a a, a better person in this truth, man. It says, among whom also we had we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, right? Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, right? And were by the it's like and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. And who are those others? Men the other nations, man. Because the the, the uh because the, the scriptures say in uh Deuteronomy four that these that these laws and conversation um and slacky these laws and commandments were given us to separate us from the, from uh from the, from the other nations. Let's see. Let's get it real quick. Let's try to get it. Hurry up with this. Deuteronomy four and uh, five. Uh, Deuteronomy four and five. Behold, I have taught you statutes of judgments, even as. How my power recommended me that you should do so in the land, whether you go to possess it, keep the foreign through them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. See? So these laws, such as your commandments, 
were given to us uh, for our wisdom and understanding, you know what I'm saying, to make us separate from these other nations. But what happened? You see, we uh, we've been we've been duped, man. We've been duped to 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 adhere to these these uh, heathen nations and having conversations, man, w w uh, that that only fulfills the lust of our flesh, man. Fulfills the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and we're created, and we're by nature of the children, uh, and we're by nature the children of wrath, even as others. You see, so we we've completely deterred from this. You know. These, these, uh, the, 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 the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man, that's going to be, uh, give, have us that wisdom and understanding and the side of the nations, man. And even these nations, uh, know. It says, we shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who the heavenly fathers, who have heavenly, who have the most high so nigh unto them as the Lord our power, as in all things that we should call upon him for? And what nation is there so great, see here's the point, that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day. You see? So even these nations know that these laws are perfect. Right? But what happened? We have our conversation of uh of, of our lust of the flesh, man, meaning the other the uh you know what I'm saying, of worldly uh conversations, man. Right? Um, it says, but the heavenly father who is rich in mercy for his love, uh, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with, uh, Hamashiach Yahushai, by grace we are saved. You see? So this is, this is part of being newborn, man. We, we, uh, our, our past conversations were, uh, the lust of the flesh, you know, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. You see? We, we, but now we, 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 uh, we, 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 uh, cast those things off. Um, let's go to, uh, second Chronicles, uh, seven and 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name shall humble themselves. See, here we go. We're humble again, humble themselves. And pray and seek my face and turn and turn from the wicked way. And how do you turn from your wicked way, man? By repenting, man. You know, because you're not gonna be able to turn and then, you know, do wickedness again. Man. That's not turning. That's that's called Christianity. It says, um, and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. Then I will hear hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and hear the land. And see, that's what that's what that's what that's what we're in the process of doing is healing the land, man. Healing the people. Starting with the uh with the tabernacle of David, which are the uh the, the elect hundred forty four thousand chosen men. You know, and that it's starting with them, and then once uh once that happens, then the whole land will be healed. All of Israel will be healed after the nuclear fire when the when the kingdom of heaven is established. Um, and uh, let's get uh Luke uh fourteen. It says uh, in eleven, Luke fourteen eleven, for whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. You see, so whoever whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, man, meaning brought low, being put in the lowest state. You know, because when you exalt yourself, man, you you know you're not looking for uh, correction, man. You're not looking to be reborn. You know, you're not, you're not, you're looking, you're not looking to put those, those, those things, uh, that, that, uh, that exalted you in the world, you know, you, you're not, you're not willing to, to count those things as dumb, so that way you can win your house shot. And in, in that day, you will, you will be brought low. It says, and he that humbled to himself, uh, shall be exalted. So when you humble yourself, man, you come back crouching, man, you come back, um, willing to learn, man. As a newborn babe, as a little as a little child, you humble yourself, man, and you're willing to learn that way you can be exalted in that in that last day. And the, and the 145,000 elect men will humble are humbling themselves now. I think that's in uh, Baruch too. Let's see. Um,
Let's see. One second, Slocky. Trying to wrap this up. Two flock here. two and and verse uh thirty, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I'm the Lord, their power, and I'll give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name in return. See, and return, meaning repent, to change back, to come back as a newborn babe and to return from the stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again to the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and be the power, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people, Yasharala, out of the land that I've given you. So see? So being re uh, returned, man. You know, repent, and man, come back as a newborn babe. Humbling yourself. You know, from the stiff from from stiff neck from being stiff neck and from doing wicked deeds man you know so come we, we, so this that's this whole this whole walk is being being knowing that you have to come back as a newborn babe man being willing to, to uh, learn again uh to be born again to learn to start to start over that's the only way you're gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven you know so with that um uh most high women's session was edifying and give all honor and glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai Bahashem, Racha Hakodash, Law and I'm gonna give a double honor to the elder apostle Great Millstone. I'm gonna say Kwan Masharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.